Hello, today we are going to learn about alien series. 24 volts or 48 volts WISP PoE switch. There are five parts. Part 1. What is alien series? 24 volts or 48 volts WISP PoE switch. I'd like to ask you a question. Do you know why it was named alien? We call it alien because it supports 24 volts PoE in and 48 volts PoE out. When you install CPE and IPC in your project and need 24 volts and 48 volt power devices, our alien series 24 volts or 48 volts WISP PoE switches can automatically detect 48 volt. 48 volt AFAT powered devices, wireless access point, IP cameras, and VoIP phones, etc. And 24 volts PoE powered devices, such as CPE, doorbell, etc. No need to buy extra conversion accessories. There are four features. You can have a look. Let's look at the product family. For alien switch, we have power budget from 150 watts to, to 400 watts. All of them have gigabit ports and SFP ports. The last alien switch have four combo SFP and it have a port with BT90 watts. The second and third models are industrial grade with operating temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. The last three are all PoE converters from 24 volts to 30 volts. This one is a managed PoE switch. There are default and VLAN mode. Do you know what VLAN mode is? With VLAN mode, VLAN function divides traffic for downlink ports to avoid snooping and tampering. This one support L2 network management. Working temperature is minus 10 to 55 degrees Celsius. Power budget is 150 watts. It have eight gigabit ports and two SFP ports. The green ports are 24 volts and 48 volts PoE out. You can connect CPE and door ring. The yellow ports are AFAT 30 watts. Can connect IPC and phone. The red ports are BT90 watts, can connect PTZ and UHD IPC. Its power budget is 400 watts and have four combo SFP. Solar is generally 9 to 12 volts. With, its, with this boost, only one interface is boosted. The other two interfaces are ordinary functions. Solar power supply to the battery and PoE through the controller during the day and the battery storage during the day and power supply the PoE at night. The controller is used to control the voltage because the voltage will be very large when the sun is very large. Alarm in and alarm out used to connect a compatible alarm or sensor devices, such as a door sensors and glass brick detectors. If the battery temperature is too high, will alarm. Fast reformation cascade system. Each device is connected to a ring, which requires two ports connected to two lines. In case one line breaks, the other line heals itself within 20 milliseconds, so that there is a backup. There can only be a maximum of 30 switches in a ring. Application scenario is project with higher requirements for security and stability of radio streams, such as government, school, and attractions. This one has DC in, 12 to 57 volts, can be external, solar, and battery. This one has one 48 volt input, one 24 volt passive PoE output. Now let's look at the battle card. Our alien series can be benchmarked with Netonix. As you can see, our switch has two SFP ports, which can support long distance transmission, and we support both AC and DC. Comparing to Netonix, our model has ports. Our power budget is 300 watts. As for power supply, our products support 
three power inputs, and working temperature is minus 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius, which can adapt to more environments. This one has four 24 volts passive and eight AFAT ports, four BT 19 volts ports, and the power supply is AC 110 to 240 volts. Let's look at the network solution. This is a networking solution for hotel. Need to power different devices. Alien PoE switches can auto detect different 24 volts or 48 volts powered devices. Meet all your needs on your hotel solutions. The doorbell is 24 volts and can be directly connected to a switch's 24 volt port. AP, IPC, and phone are all 48 volts and are also directly connected to without buying any accessories. This is a network solution for rural area where is no power or power is unstable so that the solar energy is needed. This industrial grade switch can be used in combination with battery and solar energy. Let's see the picture. Blue line is DC, orange line is PoE. Solar panel connects to the controller and connects to the battery. Battery storage during the day and the power to the switch during the night. It can ensure stable power supply. All three devices are in the iron case. The rural area is large. You need to use CPE to supply the network. This switch has 24 volts PoE out. You can directly supply the CPE. PoE 9OX can work with your existing power source. Solar power help you to build your own mini solar power plant on CCTV surveillance and save money on those hefty utility bills. LTE 1170 is a 4G router. Directly insert the SIM card can be used. There are two PoE ports of 12 to 57 volt DC in, so you can also connect solar power. The solar panel power up the controller, then the controller power up the battery during the day and the battery power the controller at night. Also power up the converter. The converter output 48 volt to LTE router. The router PoE out the IPC. The, the tower is called a base station and the devices on it are used by the operator to transmit signals, which are basically 24 volts or 48 volts. So you can use our PoE converter, which transforms any passive 24 volts PoE switches device into a fully such as Ubiquiti and Microtik 48 PoE devices. If you already have a 48 volt switch and equipment in your scenario, but have a 24 volt device that needs power, you don't need to buy another switch, just buy a converter that can PoE out 24 volts. Both the DC and the switch can power the converter. Let's look at the L2 management switch function knowledge sharing. Do you know the function of VLAN? In the cloud platform, you can set the access rights of different departments and realize customized port isolation to guarantee information security. That means use VLAN to achieve logical group management of devices in different physical lands, improve information security and reduce data congestion. Have you ever experienced network lag during voice call? Which is annoying, right? QS for lag-free experience. Our QS can designate the priority ensuring latency-sensitive applications like voice and video remain clear and lag-free, just like two pictures. We can make sure your network flows as smoothly as this picture below. DHCP snooping can protect your network from being hacked. STP, RSTP, MSTP. With this protocol, it is possible to form a ring of devices such as a fast ring, so that there is a network backup that can be recovered quickly if something goes wrong. 
That's all. Thank you for listening. Bye.